Okay, first of all, I want to start with a basic shape. Actually, uh, I want to show you how to use the gradient uh, to create uh, like an almost realistic object. Okay, so uh, for this one, okay, I'll start with on the rectangle tool. Uh, okay, Y C M. Okay, the height is Y C M, and okay, the height is Y C M. So, okay, there you go. Right. So actually, uh, let's say that you want to create another object, okay, which which is bigger than this, right? Usually, like you just drag and then you just make it bigger, right? Something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just uh, make it transparent first. Okay, the problem is when you do like this, okay, uh, the corner here, okay, is not uh, geometric, geometrically same, okay. So as you can see, it have a, like a different, uh, we call it different radius, okay. So if let's say that you want to make it a uh, few lines bigger, okay. What you can do is select this object, okay, and then you go to the uh, object, okay, go to the path, okay. So this one you can select outline stroke or offset path, okay. You go to offset path, okay. So we just select offset path. So you have going to have this uh, option here, okay. The offset, okay. The offset is the distance that you want to offset. Okay, just press OK, or you just can click preview. So as you can see now we have a uniform uh uh what you call it radius at the corner okay just click okay oh. right and then let's say they want to make it this whole one also bigger okay so you can also use the same okay offset path okay click okay so if you just want to change okay go to off path offset path so let's say that this might be make it smaller we just uh, put three okay, click review then okay See? Right. <coughs> now we have a different path here. Okay. Now in the uh, uh, Illustrator, you already know how to use, uh, you know, uh, edge into front, into back, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's try to put some gradient here. Okay. So I'm going to put these two at the front. Okay, the two front. Because I want to put gradient here. Okay, so actually when we put gradient, okay, this is gradient tool. Okay, I'll just put it on that over here. Okay, gradient. So I just put here. Alright. Okay, so let's so say that we want to make some like a uh, metal. Okay, metal object. Okay, okay let's see. Let's try, try to find a different first. Okay, the intermediate mode. Okay, so I just right this and by pressing G, okay, I want this to become upwards like this. Okay, so maybe we need to put a biker gray here, okay, and then a little bit biker uh, here, okay, and then we just put it like this. Okay, and then I select this one. Okay, apply the same gradient at this time. Okay, I just make part the dark wood outside. This. Okay, so this one, okay, I can just put some uh, colors. Yeah. So as you can see now, okay, this one I just uh, okay, put none to the stroke. So as you can see, it's already look like a 3D. So this is actually the basic in the uh, illustrator. Okay, or even in Photoshop, okay, on how to put like a uh, realistic object okay by putting the shading so it's just like a the lighting is come up from up, up here okay so this one also we can also apply gradient okay so i just right here one one right okay right here and then some darker blue here and adjust okay Maybe you can do like this. Right? So it's already look like 3D. Okay? 
one, I put there one, on the line, and maybe for this one, behind here, I just put some uh, gray color. Okay. So this is how you can do also like, uh, for example, your logo or like an icon in your phone or something like that. Okay. So want to make it more interesting. Okay. Uh, try to find some image. Okay. Uh, Find something like uh, it have kind of uh, some detection. Okay, so uh, alright. So what is, can I just show you how to do? It? Okay, so like this one. Okay, so you can read here. Okay, make another copy. And then cut. Okay, you see the uh, okay. This is the tool. Okay, cut at the middle. Yeah. So I delete. So this one. Okay. Make sure it's still in the same position. Okay, so I'm going to put this uh, radiant here. Your screen not working, right? My screen is not working. Is yeah. It hang? Is it hang? Yeah. Ah, I think maybe because the uh, the what you call it uh, the connection here, lah. You should connection this not stable. Okay, don't worry. I'm recording this, so later you can look at the uh, 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 attach the video on YouTube, so you can watch the video after this, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's put it here. Okay, I actually I'm cutting this. Okay, this shape from here, and then I just apply this uh black and white gradient. Okay, so I just put it back here, drag it, and then I change the transparency. Okay, for normal to let's like, try multiply. Okay, and then we try soft light. Okay, so uh, this one is soft light. Okay, so if uh, you can adjust, okay, make it more like a, a kind of digital section. Okay, so later when you put some work, okay, like this, okay, uh, and then I just copy this. One going to be color white, and then I then put the font. So I just drag it. Uh, and just to it so you have a uh, okay that's it right now oh. uh, just now we see for the object and shape right okay so let's say that you want to change the color okay now okay okay right so when you say that you want to you just see okay uh, how to do the uh what you call it but uh okay uh offset path okay for Okay, shapes and also things that you already created using the pen tool. So let's see what if we can do with the wordings. Okay, so let's say that okay, I just make the font here. Let's say that you want to make these words bigger. Okay, so uh, change the font. Be simple. Alright, so usually when like uh, if you want to apply gradient in the words, okay, this problem, right? When you apply the gradient, uh, nothing happen, right? Okay. So uh, what you're going to do is right click and then we select create outline. Okay. So when it's create outline, <coughs> it's actually been uh, changed. Okay, this font it to become vector. Okay. So it's mean when you change the vector. Okay, you can apply the gradient and something like this. Okay. Alright. So uh for this one also the first first, okay, you still also can apply the offset part. Okay. So let's say that uh TV preview. So as you can see, okay, you can also set the part. Okay, let's say two, two. 
okay so we have the inside and the outside okay but usually when you have done this this become uh, one group okay so you can write it and then ungroup it so when it ungroup okay now you have two different sizes okay so let's say that this one okay for like a if you want to do a logo okay then you can apply something like this yeah okay so you can change the color the right uh, something okay the green okay so the red one behind here okay you also can change the color so let's say you want to put like blue okay and then uh okay this part also okay from the outer side you can also put this uh outer line okay so you can change the stroke you can be good so you have uh three colors okay uh, this is especially if you want to do like a logo or something okay with the font okay this is how you do it right so this one also i can apply for font but uh anything okay you have to uh make it it create online first right okay so this is about uh okay part of set okay in the illustrator okay and how you apply the uh, gradient okay you actually uh you already learned okay uh the basic okay, how to apply the gradient how to apply the, uh using the checking uh, vector using pen tools okay now it's method about techniques right okay how yeah. Okay, can you see it now? Yeah. Can. Okay. Right. So, uh, yeah. Okay, next is uh, we are going to do the clipping mask. Okay. So, as you can see now in the screen, okay, there's a logo. Right. So, the problem with this logo, okay, say that I'm going to create rectangle okay so i just put some gradient here okay i just put a uh, color okay okay they want to put a jpeg picture Okay, you can see the strong here. Okay, then uh, the problem is, okay, when you put it here, okay, you just want this picture only. Okay, but now it has this white, okay, uh, shape inside it. Okay, so what you're going to do is, okay, you just drag it out first, alright, and then using the uh, ellipse tool, okay, draw a curve. Okay, just put the color so I can see the line. Like this. Okay. Try to adjust uh, to put in the, okay, in the picture. Okay, now is uh, okay. We have this curve, uh, this line, and then this uh, picture here. Okay, what you're going to do is select both of them. Okay, you can just drag or you just can just shift and select both of them, and then right click, select make clipping mask. Okay. So when you make a clip mask, okay, when you select the object, okay, sometimes it will show the uh, original size. But when you drag it, okay, so let it become. Okay. So if you want to release it, okay, you say that you want to adjust it here, okay, just select the object and then release the clip mask. Okay, so you can adjust. Okay, this. Uh, so go here, okay, and then again, you select these two objects and this is called the next mask, right? Okay, so how about this one, the center, the center, this one. So, uh, with this tree, okay, I just want you to uh, try to do like a logo or something that you want, okay, using this method, right? So like this, at compound part, actually, you can create your own uh, a table, right? So for example, uh, okay, I just draw a rectangle here. Okay, and then I just drag it. Okay, and then this one, I just make it smaller. 
This is just a very simple uh, okay. example I want to show you. Yes. Okay, so I just uh yeah. Okay. And then okay for the C I think we need to do the compact. So now then we have A B C. Okay. That's uh, just just a little bit. So when you do this, okay, you see the compound path, you just can drag this. Okay. So okay, we still remain as we want A B. Okay, you can see the hole here is uh really transparent, then if you have your choose the color, okay, still uh, can be visible. Uh. Mm. This one also, okay, you want to change color, okay, you can also change color, okay, what color, right, no problem, right? So I want you to try to get something, okay, using this, uh, features that I already showed you today, okay, the, uh, I'll say,